Welcome back to Revision Hub. Today we're going to be looking at the memory and unit of multi-store model of memory, AQA AI psychology. So the multi-store model. At Atkinson and Schifrin in 1968 developed the multi-store model. And this is how it went. So the, you get a stimulus from the environment and this gets sort of into accessory memory which can be iconic or echoic iconic meaning visual information is coded visually and echoic refers to sound so information coded acoustically and then if you pay attention to this it goes into your short-term memory where you have to rehearse it prolonged rehearsal results in um, it going into your long-term memory and the concept of retrieval so your long-term memory then sort of retrieves the information from the short-term memory and the maintenance rehearsal sort of can be positioned near where it says prolonged rehearsal because you have it involves repeating information again and again in order for it to go into the long-term memory so that was the multi-store model and obviously you would have to let me just go back one second you would have if this was um, a question an essay like an essay you have to write an essay question so uh, AS it would be 12 marks but um, at a, a, a2 so your a level it would be a 16 mark question you would probably have to explain short-term memory long-term memory in terms of their capacity, duration, coding and I covered this in the previous video so please do refer to that if you need to. So we're going to evaluate the multi-store model. A strength is that there's research to support that short-term memory and long-term memory are different stores because Badley in 1966 found that it is common to mix words that sound similar in the short-term memory and mixing words with similar meanings using long-term memory. This suggests that coding in the short-term memory is acoustic and semantic in the long-term memory, increasing reliability. And you can obviously use any of the studies as research support that would down capacity and duration so like I mentioned previously I've done this video so you can easily refer back and use any of those studies to support the multi-store model. However a weakness is there's more than one type of short-term memory because Charles and Warrington in 1974 studied a patient called KF who had amnesia and found that short-term memory for digits was poor when read out loud for him but recall was much better when he read the digits to himself. Thus, there is one short-term memory store to process visual information and another one to process aud auditory information. And this is not being accounted for by the multi-store model. Another weakness is that the multi-store model states that the more you rehearse information, the more likely it's to go into the long-term memory. Craig and Watkins in 1973 said that this is not the case because the type of rehearsal is what matters. They found two types of rehearsal, maintenance rehearsal, which is mentioned in the multi-store model, but it's actually what maintains information in the short-term memory and does not transfer it into the long-term memory. The second type of rehearsal is elaborative rehearsal, and this is needed for information to be stored in the long-term memory, because it's when you link information to existing knowledge or consider what the information means. The multi-store model cannot explain this. In our next video, we will be looking at types of long-term memory. But before then, make sure you make your notes on what we've covered so far. Remember to revise, rest, test and repeat yourself. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Thank you to Canva because I made these slides using their templates. Don't forget to like subscribe, comment, press the bell icon on our channel, Revision Hub. Thank you so much.